Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask and Get. Today we're taking a look at a couple of cool and interesting things happening within the community. And also we'll talk about some nice cool stuff coming to Blender 5.0. A couple of nice stuff as well that has to do with creators and how they can save a lot on that. And the fact that money is here, actually more money. So the last time we talked about money, we talked about the fact that Wacom has joined the development fund as corporate patrons. Which is cool because now, contrary to 30,000 that they were donating before, they get to donate 240,000 euro, which the balance of 210 from the previous 30 they were given equates to roughly the salaries of three full time Blender developers. And when we talked about this, we mentioned that there were a couple of other cool creators here that also donated some nice fund including Pico. Now, there's also another company that is donating an additional 240,000 to Blender and that is not visible around here. However, you're definitely going to know about them pretty soon. And this makes a lot of sense because now it's going to help Blender develop the tool to becoming something that will be super useful in the long run for a lot of graphic tools, which includes the brand new graphic card that we're going to be talking about that will be funding Blender for at least one year. And these is the folks at Bolt Graphics. Now you possibly may have never heard about these guys before. And it is the fact that this is still what I would consider as a startup. So this company has a wonderful idea and it is to create a GPU which would bring an unmatched rendering performance to creators. And they're currently looking at four major sections which deals with architecture and design, gaming, film and animation and high performance computing. Now this, which you get to see here is more like the sample of what it would look like. And they're also mentioning that their CAD would have the ability to cater to expanded memory slots with a smaller footprint and less power consumption, contrary to what we have with Nvidia and AMD. And they've also showcased that they have some very good partners that you're working with. And this company, which is Bolt Graphics are donating 240,000 euro to Blender. Now the idea behind this particular collaboration is to sort of work alongside with the folks at Blender to make Blender compatible with their tool. And they get to say that it's important to us that everyone has access to high content creation tools, no matter their budget. Our team uses Blender every day to benchmark our technology and create art. The CEO went on to say, I grew up using Blender myself and I had no money to give back. So being able to support Blender at the Patreon level now is a dream come true. And this is really cool. The idea that both graphics, which is more like a semiconductor startup, like we mentioned earlier, is looking at doing a proper handshake with Blender. Alongside that, the CEO seems to be someone that has actually used Blender while growing up and is sort of supporting Blender at this level speaks a lot about him. Now, here is something that I think we need to actually talk about. And it's the fact that during the time we were writing the script for the video, there were a couple of things that didn't just match up as much as we thought they will. And one of them is the fact that he went on to say that they're using Blender every day to benchmark their technology. And that technology is something that we don't really have our hands on. Of course, if you simply go over to their website, you would notice that they did put out a post just a couple of days back that deals with how they created Brad by simply using Blender. But in no way, shape or form did they mention using Zeus, which is supposed to be the name of your graphic card. As if you go ahead and check this out, you would see all of the necessary processes, you know, from the referencing all the way to the concept app down to, you know, making the models themselves, sculpting, walking through the whole process. This is a high quality model, I must say, you know, going back and forth with ZBrush, coming back in Blender, doing some very cool stuff, taking this all the way to tools like Mari to actually do the right texturing and bringing everything back in Blender, you know, making this look as cool as it is. I think at a point they actually took this entire model to Houdini to do some very cool simulation and that was pretty nice. But again, amongst all of this, they never mentioned that they used Zeus. They kept mentioning Bolt's tool like a tool that they might potentially like to use, but they never really mentioned it. And one thing which I sort of love about this particular note here is they sort of brought us to light about something that the folks at Blender seems to be working on. And it's the fact that they decided to go with another kind of renderer rather than using Cycles. Because Cycles at this point doesn't have GPU texture caching and mid mapping. However, this seems to be something that the folks at Blender might be working on soon. Because they did mention that they approached the folks at Blender during the C graph, and this is now being revisited. So potentially in 5.0, we might be seeing this. 
Now moving back here, I have my doubt about the product because I've actually searched all through the internet. There's no one time that this physical product has been seen. All we get to see is just renders and renders, but no physical product has been seen. But for what is worth, let's give them a benefit of doubt. Hopefully this is going to come out as expected. And for what it is, Blender will be having an additional 240,000 to work on some cool stuff. And yes, they did also mention that in the coming Blender conference, they will be there for those who have, you know, questions and possibly they might be addressing some concerns like the ones that I just mentioned. And speaking about the conference, Blender Conference 2025 will be happening in Amsterdam and this will be starting on September the 17th all through to September the 19th of 2025. And of course, for those who like to see some important dates about this one, you can come through and check this out. I'm going to link this one in the description. So just in case you like to see this, you can see that for yourself. And something else which is pretty interesting to keep in mind is the Susanna Awards Animation Festival. And you may have seen some animations during the opening of this video. And these animations are coming from here. And here's a rundown of nominated animations. So just in case you like to see some of these ones, you can come through and see these animations here. And with that said, let's talk about some cool stuff coming to Blender 5.0. So Blender 5.0 seems to be coming with one very cool feature within the assets section and is the fact that you can now add scene assets and what I mean is you can now simply mark a whole scene and save it as an asset so instead of saving individual assets this now means that you can save those individual assets and save an entire scene as an asset and how you do this is very simple so for example we have this particular scene let's actually jump over to this mode so for example we have this scene and I will throw in the monkey right there let's reduce that and position this here good so with this, what we can do is we can simply go right here. Originally, you can save asset by simply right clicking, then you mark it as an asset. And if you drag this all the way out and you switch over to your asset browser and possibly go down to your current file, you would see that here. Most of the times you'd also see that once you go to unassigned because it's unassigned, there's no folder where this lives in. Now you can save this entire thing and how you can do that it's pretty easy. So now when you're saving, you're saving both the lights, the camera, the whole collection. So we can right click and now mark as asset. So once we mark as asset, this is what we have. So you would also notice that this is taking the position of the camera into consideration. So we can, you know, simply put this this way, have that selected, tap in on the keyboard and refresh our view. And you'd also notice that that refreshes. And most people don't know about this. You can create multiple scenes inside one single Blender file. So if I go in here, we can choose to create a new scene by simply clicking on that and say new. And once we make new or simply make a new scene, we can start doing stuff. I'm just going to let all these things be. And from here, we can come through. Say maybe we would like to throw in a torus and maybe we would like to throw in a simple cube. You know, all of that. So we can have that. Let's throw in that grid. I love me a nice grid. So we can throw all of that and then mark this other one as an asset so i can just call this basic so that's the name of this so we can have that set to basic right click and then we can mark it as an asset and automatically you would notice that we have that here as well so this makes a lot of sense because now you can simply go back and forth and work with it and you'd also notice that because we don't have any camera here this doesn't seem to save the camera view and you know for us to get that in we can go ahead and throw in a simple camera view through that camera lock that camera zoom all the way out and then simply refresh this and we have it if we simply create a new scene right here i can drag this whole thing and drop it awesome we can also drag this other one and drop it. And from here, we can start doing stuff. So if you like to save your scenes so that you can reuse them over and over, it now makes a lot of sense as you can now do that. Now, I see a situation where this would come in extremely handy, especially if you have a light setup and you don't want to pop up that light setup all the time. You just want a scene that has been previewed and you don't want to start playing with elements to sort of pack things around then this is going to come in very handy. At the same time, here's a very interesting project that I think you would like, and that is the OK Go Impulse Purchase, which is an amazing video that was done using Blender. And of course, for those who like to read up on this, possibly you like to see the demo file or even get the production file, then of course you can. This is an amazing, amazing project that you possibly would learn a lot from. So if you simply go over to get production file 
this is going to bring you right here where you can see all it took for this to actually work. They're currently using the Live Link Face app, which is an app you can get on the App Store. And this is being fed into the OSC server and works directly inside of Blender. Now they did develop an add-on for this, and this add-on is currently available and you can get it. Now for you to be able to get this, you can see right here, they say you can actually get the file once you join the studio. But if we simply go all the way back and go over to the demo file, you will be able to get this right here. You can download the first cap add-on and install it inside of your Blender. And at the same time, you can also go ahead and download the OKGO OK impulse purchase demo file. We've actually gone ahead to download this and brought them into Blender. Now with this file open up right here, you can see that we have the play animation. We have the stat OSC. So if you get to load in the right address right here and also the port which you get from the live link face app you can plug those in and you can also change the port right here and then you can start the osc and play the animation so the animation plays basically like what you have with the music video that we have running earlier the only thing that is not working at this point is the facial performance the reason why we cannot puppeteer the face is because we don't have the live link face app plugged to this. But if you're thinking about exploring this, possibly you like to see the geometry node, you want to see how everything gets to work, then of course you can simply go ahead and check it out. And this is one of those cool things. The fact that you can pick up Blender and create amazing add-ons or even work with amazing add-ons is one of those things that I think a lot of people love about this tool. And speaking about add-ons, currently, for those who like to get the best of the best deals that are currently available on Superhive, you can definitely go ahead and check this out. And some of them includes that of Amandeep that's doing a 50% off. Then you get 50% from the folks at CGPKey for those who are thinking about learning how to create characters. And of course, there is a lot of other ones like their core bundle that teaches you the core of literally everything inside of Blender. This is also doing a 50% off. You might also notice that we get 17 remaining here and 22 days remaining. So this just simply talks about how many people can still purchase this. So at this point, 17 people can purchase this for 50% off and the number of days that is left for you to actually purchase this is 22 days so this cuts across a lot of things so if you're thinking about getting these ones or possibly you like to get the uv flow or maybe you like to get a 35 percent off andrew d for the hdri maker which is an amazing add-on we've already talked about this one on the channel before alongside the extreme pbr nexus you can go ahead and check this out i'm simply going to put a lot of these links in the description for those who like to get this and i might also put the coupon codes alongside the deals that are currently available so all of these deals are currently available right now and you can simply save up on a ton of them and one cool one that is also available here that i think we should talk about is from jslav jslav is currently putting everything that he's got on his storefront for 33 percent off we already made a video about this one so you can simply go ahead and check it out if you're into the simply clothes possibly you like to get the whole pack collection that is doing a 33 percent off you can go ahead and check it out. If you're into sculpting, there's a 33% off for that one. The folks at Polygonic are doing a 33% off. And Altap Studio is also doing a 30% off for some of their products as well. So you might want to get the Easy Decal. This was recently announced. Amazing tool for those who are thinking about, you know, throwing decals in their scene. This is also a very cool one. You can get that. The Insect Swarm from Robin is also available. And if you're into 3D models, possibly you would like to get any of these 3D models, the base meshes, all of these are doing 50% off. If you like to get the ultimate base mesh collection, then that is also doing a 50% off as well. And you can go ahead and check it out. You can also get 25% off of the drop cast, which is a brand new tool from Cassie Sheep. We haven't actually talked about this one on the channel. It's just pretty, pretty new. It's like two days old. So this is also another nice one. So this is it. Tons of stuff are currently available. And of course, for those who would like to check out any of these things that we've mentioned, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.